Hello and welcome back to another one of Zug's Guides on Broadside Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at The Foot Knight, another class I play far too much. And we're actually having a look at the Sword and Mace. Again, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of the Sword and Mace, it's really fun, and especially on The Foot Knight, they're just really, really good. So we'll have a look at the talents first. We're using Bloody Unstoppable, damaging multiple enemies in one swing with a melee weapon grants temporary health. Sword of Mace is awesome, especially if we're using, using the push attack, which with this build, you will be doing the push attack a lot. And then we're going on Crowd Clearer, pushing an enemy increases your attack speed by 15%, as I said, push attack. Mainstay, deal 40% more damage to staggered enemies. Each hit against the staggered enemy adds another count of stagger. Bonus damage is increased to 60% against enemies deflected by more than one stagger effect. So yeah, you've got lots of ways to stagger. You've got your weapons, you've got pushing, and you've got your charge. And then we've got Comrade in Arms. Kruber gains 10% increased power. The closest ally to Kruber gains 50% damage reduction and 10% increased power. Passive War from Protective Presence no longer affects allies. Oh, well. More damage, though. Hey. It's Hero Time. Resets the cooldown of uh, Valiant Charge when an ally is incap incapacitated. Uh, this seems fucking amazing. And it goes really well with this. Violent Charge grants invulnerability for three seconds. So if somebody goes down, you speed over there, and you try and res them. So it's quite cool. And here are all the breakpoints I'm using. So I've actually found I prefer to use attack speed, block cost, and swift slaying, but you can change the attack speed to stamina if you wish. But this is my personal preference. So if you really want to, you can change the attack speed to stamina. Then on the gun, power versus infantry, power versus skaven. The neck, that never changes. Health, block cost, box skin. On your charm, power versus chaos, attack speed, and I'm using concoction. Just for a bit more of a damage boost. But of course you can use decanter or proxy. Whatever, you know, fancy here. And the charm, of course... Curse Resist, Crit Chance, and Shrapnel. And again, if you're doing Kata, change the Curse Resist to Stamina Recovery. Uh, I find this this is just a really fun build to play with. You're just charging around a lot, and you're just hacking the shit out of things. It's just a really, really amusing build. And I can't stress enough how I think the Foot Knight is very, very underrated in this game. People think, oh, it's just sword and board and just standing there. It's like, no, he's got some really, really amusing builds, and this is one of them. Anyway. I think that's enough rambling from me. Thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed the video or any other content on our channel, please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications. We would really appreciate it, and it really helps us out. So until next time, I shall see you all again later.